Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden and today we are going to make two pair of earrings using beads from Softlex Design Challenge Kit Rainy Days. So let's turn down and we'll take a look at them. So what we're going to do with these is, of course, this is at the top. We can put one of these sets aside. So what we're going to do is, this is a little charm, so we're going to hang on to the bottom here. Then we're going to put one of these little purple guys, one of these crystal spacers, this pearl, a daisy spacer, this rectangular piece, and another crystal spacer and the other little purple, and then it will hook on to our earwear. So, of course, the first thing we need to do is straighten out our wire as much as possible. Then we're going to fold this over, get out our bell making pliers. Oops, we want the smallest one. So we're going to make a loop around there. Bring it back over and around, and we want to leave a gap. So I didn't leave a gap, so let's push it apart some. So we have that gap we need. Oops. Ooh, I busted my thumbnail. That's all right. We'll cut it later. Anyway, so now that I've got that gap in there, we're going to feed our crystal in and around. And then we'll... Grab hold of our loop here where the wires come together. And wrap it three times. Oop, anyway, I think I want three. One. Two. And three. Now we'll trim our excess wire and tuck it in. Now this looks like it's tipped forward a little bit, so I'm going to take hold of this and just push it back some. That looks better. So now we'll put our little purple one on here at the bottom our crystal spacer, pretty blue one, pearl. Now this is a freshwater pearl, so it went on better, that's as good as I expect, could be expected. Daisy spacer, crystal, crystal spacer, and the other little purple. So there is our first one. We just have to wrap it up and put it on our post. Now, dependent on how you want this to hang down at the bottom is how you want to uh, put your your uh, post on. So if you want it to hang this way, you want it to go this direction. And I think that's what we will do with it. So up and over. Now again, we want to leave a gap here, unless you want to put this on with a jump ring. I'm I don't generally. Uh, the only time I do is if I want to have um, a little more movement, and I think it's got plenty of movement here. Come on, around the corner. There we go. So now we will take hold of where our wires come together. Take our second pair of pliers 
and wrap this until we meet the bead below. So it's probably going to be about three. So then you're going to trim off your excess. Didn't get my finger in the way. That one went flying a bit. And tuck it in. And there is earring number one. Now you can see this is crooked up at the top, so we want to straighten that up. So just take your pliers, put them in there, and squish it. It usually will fix whatever's wrong. So there is our first earring done. Now we want to do exactly the same to make our second one. So we just take our wire again, get it as straight as we can get it. Bend her over. Your bell making pliers over and around, bring her around, leaving a gap so our charm can go on. There we go. I think we did, looks like three. So we will take that, hold it, and do three reps. One, two, oops, it's going on top of its shelf, and coming up will be three. So now we'll trim that off and tuck it in. See how crooked it is? Because it is a little crooked. We'll push it this way to get it straighter. There we go. And now we'll put it together just like we did the other one with the purple, the crystal spacer, the pearl, now these are natural pearls so they aren't um, the same size. And this one does not want to go on. So I may need to go find another pearl. Or I need to ream it. See if I can get it to ream a little bit so it will go on the wire. Feels like there's something in there. It's not going anywhere, so I'm going to go and find another pearl. So here is a new pearl. Let's hope this one fits better. Well, it started out better, but it's... Why are you holding on to it like that? Okay. Let's see if I can get this one to behave. There's the reamer. Now, reaming out a pearl, you really should use some water because it pearl dust isn't the best thing for you. So, let's see if we got that. 
Yep, there we go. Now we had this turned so that it was straight this direction. So we'll do that, this one too. We'll fold her over right here. Up and over and around. And we need to leave that gap because we're going to be putting on the post. So we'll bend this down. Come on, you. There we go. Now we'll hold them where the wires come together. And we will wrap this up. Trim this off, tuck it in. And there is our second earring. Let's see if we've got this pretty straight. There we go. And so that's that pair done. Now it'd be nice if you could, if this would go this way so you could see it's pretty top. Maybe I can poke it into the mat some so that it will. So there is our first set of earrings and now we will go to work on the second. So I put those to the side. I think you can still see them a little bit, but um, this is the second set. We're going to just use re regular lever wires for this one. And what we're going to do is this pretty blue one is going to be in the middle. Then we're going to bring this guy up here. These two spacers will be in here and here. Now what I hadn't decided yet is whether I'm going to use two wires and make this swing a little bit. Um, it will make it be longer, of course. Or if we're just going to go do the regular wrap for this guy and then go up to do, to do that. I think it would be easier doing it that way. But I still haven't made up my mind for sure. So what I do with my wire, there it is. I want to get a few pieces out. Now, if we're going to do it both ways, we just need about this much for this one. So we'll just cut this one, which of course sort of sets me up to doing it this way, doesn't it? Since I just cut the wire for it. Cut that little sharp edge off the top. So there's the top pieces. And actually, let's put the little briolettes aside for now because we can put them right on as we work. And we will make these middle pieces. So we can just bend this over. Up and around and over. And bring her 
over here. And now we're going to wrap this bottom piece up. Two or three times. I prefer three if I can get them that way, unless I don't want a large signature. And then I will only do two to have less wrap here. Tuck this in. And see, I've got that top a little bit crooked, so we want to put our and then just straighten her up some. So then we'll put our this black spacer, the little blue patterned square spacer, and cube. Now you have another decision to make. Do you want to jump ring this onto the wire or do you want to um, put it directly on like I did with this pair here? And that's still a decision to make, isn't it? Though I do have Tinky Tots and I could put it on with Tinky Tot and it wouldn't be quite so uh, long, but it would also um, give it a little more movement, so maybe that's what we'll do. So let's wrap this top piece here. Tucked in. Now I do have it pretty tight, I will tell you that much. This is a little crooked here. So then this can go directly on to be tinky totted onto our ear wire. these two tinky tops and go onto our ear wire. Now if you hadn't put the loop down here, if you'd used a post, you could have just, or a regular ear wire, um, head pin, you could have just ended these right now. But we have a crystal for the bottom. So we need a little bit more wire out. And again, I think two or three inches will work. So now we just wrap this up and put it on the bottom and it will be, this earring will be done. So what I'm going to do is take my flat nose pliers and I'm going to bend up both sides. Now this might not slip on like this and if it doesn't, then we'll just have to straighten the one out. See, it doesn't want to. 
So we'll straighten her out until it slides around the corner. Come on. Go around. Now that it is around the corner, we should be able to bend that back up. There we go. Now we'll just... These holes are slightly crooked, but oh well, it doesn't matter. So we're just going to bend these to a triangle shape. And because this is crooked, I'm not going to worry about this being straight at the bottom, but I am going to take my pliers and bend this one. Oh, that sounded crunchy. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, well. I'm going to bend this one up, and then we're going to take the one on the other side, and we're going to bend it down. So now we're going to move our crystal out of the way as much as we can. Put our pliers there where that comes together. Take our second pair and wrap that. twice. I'm only going to do twice because our other wire is going to come down and meet this when we make our loop here at the top. So I'm going to just put a little bit of my pliers there. I don't want a big loop. So bring this over. Bring this into place. up and around and over, bring her over here, that doesn't look very rounded so I'm going to try and round it some, if I need to we'll just take the pliers to pull it up to make sure it's round, oop, now we're going to feed this through the bottom here, And then we're going to wrap this up right here. So. Trim the excess off and tuck it in. And there is earring number one. Though I don't think I got good tuck right here. It looks a little wonky. So let's see if I can get that a little better. So there is the first of this pair of earrings. So the second one, exactly the same. So we'll bend this wire over, make a loop, looks like I made three uh, loops here. So we'll hold that, okay so I'm going to get another piece of wire out and we're going to straighten it somewhat. Then I'm going to take my plot flat nose and I'm going to make a bend slide our bead down on there, take our flat nose, I think I broke this briolette, it looks funky at the top, so I think I have some more. Okay, got a new briolette, so we'll put this on here.
take our flat nose and paint it up. Now we want these to go sideways like so. So then we will just take the longer one, point it upwards, the smaller one, and point it sideways. Now we're going to ask this bead to get out of our way somewhat while we grab this right here and wrap this two times. And two. So now we're going to cut this excess wire off, tuck it in, Now we're going to take this, and it's a little crooked, so we're going to straighten it up. Now we'll take and make a tiny little bend here. We don't want it big because we don't want a lot of wraps here. Oop. So we put our pliers in, go up and over and around, bring it down and over, leave it a little open so it can slide onto your earring here. Now we'll hold where these two come together, and if we're lucky we can get three wraps in there so it matches the other one, but if not, we'll do two be happy with two. We'll cut this off right here. Tuck it in. We'll see if we need to straighten it some. I think we do. Looks a little crooked to this side here. And maybe to the back. And there we go. There are our, that's our second pair of earrings. Here is earring pair number two. Nice length. If you like long earrings. If you don't, you could use a uh, head pin as opposed to this, uh, making this loop on the bottom and leaving the crystals uh, briolettes off and be, make a nice, uh, simple little pair of earrings. So that's earring pair number two. Earring pair number one has a little more to it. also a nice length. So that's our earring pair number one. Which I really like this pair. And earring pair again number two. Using our Softlex Design Challenge Kit Rainy Day. So this has been Rose from In Rose's Garden, and I hope to see you later. Bye-bye.